Hello and welcome to In All Our Doings, a confession, catechism, creed and collect, brought to you daily by Anglican Futures. This podcast is just one of the many ways Anglican Futures offers support to faithful Anglicans. Please visit our website www.anglicanfutures.org to find out more. But for now, we begin with confession. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent, according to your promises, declared to all people, in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous and sober life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Hear the word of God to all who truly turn to him. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Today's question from the Anglican Catechism to be a Christian is why do we pray the daily office? To which the answer is given, We pray the daily office, because by it we learn the scriptures, join with the church in prayer, mark our days with praise to God, and sanctify our time. Thus today's Bible reading comes from Joshua, chapter 1, beginning at verse 6. Be strong and courageous. For you shall cause this people to inherit the land that I swore to their fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous, being careful to do according to all the law that Moses my servant commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left, that you may have good success wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened, and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. This is the word of the Lord. The Apostles' Creed I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from the evil one. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. Today's Collect O Lord, our Heavenly Father, 
Keep your household the church continually in your true religion, that we, who trust in the hope of your heavenly grace, may always be defended by your mighty power. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, now and for ever. Amen. Go before us, O Lord, in all our doings, with your most gracious favour, and further us with your continual help, that in all our works, begun, continued, and ended in you, we may glorify your holy name. And finally, through your mercy, obtain everlasting life, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now, may the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip us with everything good, that we may do his will, working in us that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory for ever and ever. Amen. If you have found this episode of In All Our Doings helpful, why not like it, share it with friends and family, or subscribe to the podcast? If you have any thoughts or questions about today's episode, please leave a comment or contact us through our website, www.anglicanfutures.org. Bible readings are taken from the English Standard Version and the Catechism from To Be a Christian, both with permission from Crossway. The liturgy comes from the ACNA, Book of Common Prayer, 2019.